case she didn't know, she's getting married today. She's the one wearing the purple. Mummy, yeah. gotta give the audience a wave. So we've basically been um, on again, off again, brother and sister for the last few <laughs> years. I suspect that's why she might have asked me to speak today. Although I guess she didn't learn a lesson from her 21st birthday. So I thought, fair enough. Um, surely I can just Google wedding speeches and basically find some predetermined speeches and narrate that away. Needless to say, I quickly came to the realization that wedding speeches are typically done by the father of the bride, the best man, and sometimes the maid of honor. So that's our three people. Today, Abby and Jeff have got 14 people speaking. <laughs> 14 people. I'm thinking that means 11 people are going to have no idea what to say. So, that avenue of uh, Google searching uh, proved a bit fruitless. I decided maybe I'll try Google searching Abhi Paramaguru. Yeah. That, uh, so the first result when you Google Abhi Paramaguru is actually our lovely MC, Catherine Bond. <laughs> Other notable gems include, uh, I'll have to refer to my Ivy's speech, distinguishing pets from pits, developing technology with privacy in mind, and uh, extension of legal deposit, recording Australia's online cultural heritage. Could you seriously be a more boring person? <laughs> managed to find something a tiny bit bizarre. Do you know that people are actually trying to search for you on the internet? Yeah. So there was this link, it goes, Hi, I am looking for Abby Paramaguru. <laughs> I know she left in 1992 and she was in Mrs. Meredith's class. Last I heard, she was in New South Wales, Australia. If anyone knows where she is now, please get in contact. This is on the first page when you Google Abhi Paramaguru. <laughs> Abhi, don't worry, I forwarded her all your details. I have no idea what you've done to this girl, but she's been looking for you for the last 20 years. Okay, um, I'll try to give you some background information about Abhi. I was going to say something about her organization skills, but yeah, she did allocate one minute of banter to her MCs, so I'll cut that a bit short. I'll also call Abby maybe a financial institution because um, there's one thing Abby might love more than her family, love more than her friends and Jeff, and that could be money. <laughs> I don't know, she just likes to earn it, she likes to collect it, she likes to steal it from me. <laughs> I don't know, I, I think she just likes to put it in pretty little piles, I'm not sure, but she just has this desire to accumulate as much money as possible. This has basically led to the formation of an entity that I like to call the Bank of Abbey. The Bank of Abbey does not offer competitive interest rates. The Bank of Abbey has very extreme repayment schedules. Yet somehow the Bank of Abbey is very profitable. And the bank of Bobby has one client. <laughs> and that's me. <laughs> one day, I contacted the bank of Bobby. I threatened the bank of Bobby that I would get refinancing <laughs> from another source. The bank of Bobby caved in, lowered my interest rate. Today I'll tell you, Bobby, that was a lie. <laughs> there is no one else that would ever let me money. <laughs> Okay, I got here, Abhi, the affectionate. So I encourage everyone in this hall, when you have an opportunity, to try to embrace Abhi in a long and loving hug, and just witness her facial expression turn to one of absolute distress, absolute trauma. I remember once, um, Abhi told Jeff, Jeff, never give me flowers. Flowers die. <laughs> Jeff responded, he was rather shocked at this moment, he responded, 
so do puppies. <laughs>
And honestly, there is no one in this world that I have more respect for, more trust for. And for that, she has my unconditional love for the rest of my life. To Jeff, I couldn't be happier for Robbie to choose you to be part of our family and for Jeff's family to be part of our family. You have all my love and you have all our family's love. Finally, I'd like you all to be upstanding. I'd like to raise a glass.